Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. We're we'll playing the daily challenge for July 7th, 2021. The character of the defect and the modifiers are heirloom, started with one rare relic. Green cards, green cards show appear in rewards and shops. And Midas enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith at red sites. Uh, this combination is definitely way better than what we had yesterday. Yesterday was really painful, and yeah, even at the end of the day, only the top 14 were able to pass a uh, thousand points, which I think indicates that uh, yeah, yesterday's run was really tough. Check out that video if you're interested. But that was that was just brutal. Um, anyway, let's move on to today's run. So heirloom, green cards, and Midas. All right, I'm not upgrading. Ooh, I got wing boot at the end. You may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to three times. Brings me back to my... I guess I never came to a good conclusion on what to do with wing boots early on. Do you want to use it a lot on Act 1, on Act 2, or on Act 3? Elites are more worth more points on Act 3. But um, on the other hand, you might be in a situation where on Act 3, you just cannot use it to maximize elites. So here, for example, I could use it twice and get two extra elites. I think what I'll do here... Yeah, so first I will go on this path with three, four, five question mark rooms, then head to this elite. And then if I feel my deck is strong enough to hit another elite, I think I'll jump over once, probably here, because then I have a regular fight afterward to make sure that I lose enough HP for the uh, Hexaghost. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's the right approach. Okay. All right, let's start off with a uh, dual cast. All right, I was hoping it would hit the frontliner. I will attack the frontliner just, uh, just so that I take five less damage. All right, 10 incoming, I can fully defend here. Okay. And here, let's do... I can't kill yet. Yeah, the problem of hitting too many elites on Act 1 is because the, the chances of perfecting them are lower. Um, because the deck is not complete yet. All right, Poison Stab, Hello World, or Tempest. I'm not a big fan of either Tempest or Hello World. Poison Stab might be the way to go. Although, obviously, it's not going to become a Poison deck. But yeah, let's take it. It'll, it'll help a little bit with damage. Um, I do have a shop coming up. Not really. Should I remove a basic strike or defend? I think it might make sense to remove a basic defend because I currently have a lot of skills. So if I end up fighting the Gremlin Knob for the first lead, that might be a problem. All right, let's do dual cast again. Dual cast is really good against these enemies. Okay. All right, turbo dagger spray stack. Let's go with dagger spray. Another attack card. And then here. Oh, great. I can pick up all three potions. All right. Okay, Cultist, let's do Dual Cast, Dagger Spray, and Strike. All right. Six incoming, Poison Stab. I'll do one defend, and then I'll need two more attacks to come next turn. Um, or just another Poison Stab. Good. Okay. Liquid Memories. Actually, I will take that probably over these Flex Potion. I don't have enough attacks for the Flex Potion to be useful. And all right, I'll take a Dagger Throw as well. But... Um, well, okay, I got the Grumman Knob. So I, I was going to say, but I should start taking more defensive cards. But no, this is actually against the Grumman Knob. It's good to be very offensive. I also have a good set of potions. Let's see if I actually have a chance of perfecting this one. 14. Unfortunately, hang on, let me calculate the damage. So 16, another 6, another 3. So that's 25. Um, that's 45. That's 55. I mean, if I use all of my potions, I'll be able to kill, right? Yeah, yeah, let's try that. I mean, I should try to perfect, right? So let's do dual cast zap and then strike. And then I actually think I'll um, get back the dual cast because I think that'll allow me to save on a potion, right? Because now I can throw the fire potion. I can hang on to the explosive potion for later. Okay. All right, perfected this elite. We got the boot. One of you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five as well as... Um, Okay, wait, this is not normal of getting two rare cards right after the first elite, right? None of the modifiers edited that. Um, so, hmm, do I want to go for the popper modifier? If I do see Wraith form, I might want to take that, and Buffer might be good as well. Blade Dance would work now, like in the short, short term, but Buffer is nice. Let's take the Buffer. I Yeah, I think I'll try to avoid the popper, just because Wraith form will be very valuable. All right, so here I am looking for the dagger throw. Let's do poison stab. Hang on, so that'll be 11. Yeah, let's do poison stab this guy. That way he'll be dead in two turns. And then I think I'll do double strike you. Okay. Unfortunately, I am going to be weakened here. All right, so can I kill another one? Yeah, I can do dagger throw. There's the dagger spray I was looking for. Okay. And then strike, and then the orb will kill the next one. Okay. 
All right, got Potion of Capacity, which is probably not that useful. I don't have enough orb generation yet. I think now I'll take a Blade Dance, right? Okay. All right, here I got the Slaver. Uh, dagger Throw. I might want to defend a little bit and then do Poison Sap. Okay. 12 incoming. I, I guess I could do Buffer, right? No reason not to. Basically, this gives me an extra turn. Um, and then here, Double Strike Kills. All right, slice, consume, distraction. I mean, I wish I had more frost orbs or any orbs really. Then consume would have been great. But let's go with the distraction. Okay, here I got ink bottle. One of you play ten cards, draw one card, and upgrade two random cards for fifteen HP. That's a defend and poison step upgraded. Uh, yeah, I have to go this way because there's another elite. Oh, oh, I. That's actually good that I remembered that I won't be able to upgrade anything. Means that I have to rest. So in this uh, fight, I should probably lose a lot of HP. Lack of Ulin. So buffer is great. Um, I probably want to see what the distraction gives me first. Maybe even get another zap out. Okay, so let's wait. All right, so zap distraction. Uh, boot sequence is great. Yeah, let me save that. And then next turn, I think I can try to attack. Okay, so poison stab, strike, and blade dance. All right. That's not a bad start, but I guess I have one buffer, right? So that gives me one extra turn. Although, hang on, here I can fully defend. Okay, perfect. All right, and then I'll do Poison Stab and another Blade Dance. Okay. All right, this is actually really good because now I have two more turns. Well, I have I can use the buffer and then wait one more turn. Dagger Throw and a Strike. Oh, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm actually perfecting this. I'm thinking maybe I should use the Wing Boots. If I, if I am doing so well against the Elites, why not, right? Okay, we've got Incense Burner. Every six turns, gain one Intangible as well as a Speed Potion and... Go for the S is good. Let's take that. And yeah, I think I'll jump over once. Sure. Okay, Gremlin Knob again. All right, now I have less potions, so that might be a little harder. Uh, let's do Dagger Throw first. Um, see what the distraction gives me. Uh, that's unfortunate. All right. Yeah, this one might be tough to perfect, so I might just accept damage here. Or Yeah, there's no way, right? Um, let's do Dagger Spray and then Strike. Okay. All right, do I want the incense burn at a certain value? I guess it would be nice to have it on... F oh, no, never mind. I still have another fight after this, right? Um, let's do buffer, go for the ice strike. Okay. I guess if I drew the buffer last turn, but no, I, that still would not have been enough. Go for the ice again. Uh, let's do dagger throw, dagger spray. Yeah, all right. So I wasn't able to perfect this one. We got Dark Stone up. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. And then I'll take the... the uh, I'll get rid of the explosive potion. Yeah, finally a frost orb. Let's take that. And then here I do I want to cycle back to have the incense burner at four. Might be useful because then I don't have to avoid or then I don't have to not take any damage. Uh, let's kill the backliner though if I can. Okay. Alright. I do have to be careful because the lightning orb might kill too soon, so yeah. Um I think I'll wait though. Okay. I still have the poison in the backliner too, right? Okay, and then, yeah, actually, I think I, I literally will just wait. Uh, might as well play the buffer. Okay. Yeah, so he'll die in uh, six turns. Yeah, I'll kill before that, um, but I think I'll wait for the instance to be at four, and then uh, I won't have to lose HP, which I think is a good idea. Um, I will... I think I should be able to kill next turn. Okay. All right. I think this should work out. We got fruit juice, uh, which I will take over the. Uh, sp you know what? Let's take it over the potion capacity. It's a great potion, but I don't really need it here. Let's also take skim for card draw. Oh, I, well, actually, never mind. It's fine. I'm resting, right? I I should be intangible in a turn where it matters. Yeah, so that was my plan. Actually, I guess it's a good idea to have that to be uh, be my plan. Definitely not my plan. Well, my plan was to be intangible in the turn, so it didn't matter how much my HP was. I've forgotten the fact that my HP would have been very high because of the rest. All right, so. Um, I still need to defend against six, and I'm a little worried that one defend won't be enough, but I can do defend and cold snap. Okay, good. Uh, unable to play any of my other cards, but I think this is worth it. Okay. I also have the speed potion for emergencies, but I'd rather keep it for emergencies, right? So let's do strike, zap, defend. Okay. Another 10 auto shields is perfect here. Let's also do a buffer or no let's do cold snap two frost ropes are better than one okay 
I am deeming, uh, dealing damage a little slowly, but then uh, then again, the instant burner will be active again just at the right time, so that's good. Let's do poison stab. Um, I only have four incoming, so I think I have to do dual cast, right? Let me see if the skim gives me anything good. It, it did not. All right, let's do dual cast then. Okay. Uh, not getting attacked here. I think I'll do the buffer here. All right. Okay. Another 14. Let's do go for the ice, bring it down to 10. Cold snap. So I could lose my buffer and I'd rather not. So let's drink these. Actually, wait, hang on. I could draw something. Okay. Uh, let, yeah, yeah, let's use the auto shields. All right. Oh, I realized the incense murder is active one turn too early. Ugh, okay. So let's do dual cast. Go for the ice. Um, zap and... Okay, next turn might be rough. I do have the Speed Potion and the Entropic Brew. Yeah, 24 incoming. Let me see if I can draw the um, Auto Shields. I cannot. Even if I draw it, that's not going to be enough, right? Uh, I mean, let's give it a try. Okay, so I think I have to drink everything. Let's drink this. Let's drink this. Entropic Brew. Block Potion is good. So 12 plus 2 is 14 plus another 10 is 24. That's exactly enough, right? Okay, awesome. So let's do defend, drink the block potion. And then, yeah, I should be, uh, I should have enough, including the burn. And I still had one buffer to us, but I, again, I would rather keep it for emergencies. Okay. All right, now all my burns got upgraded, which is going to make my life harder. But okay, let's do, I have to do auto shields again. Then dagger spray and strike. Okay. Yeah, drawing the burns, I think, will be the hardest thing here. 14 incoming. Yeah, look at this turn. Unless I can kill. Hang on. Uh, let's do dagger throw. Okay. So if I do the poison stab, that's 8. No, I definitely can't kill, right? This is actually 12. Poison stab is a little better. And then if I do the defend, that's 9. I have 1 burn. I think I have to use the dex potion, right? Because then I can use my buffer. All right, let's use the dex potion. Use this. And then poison stab. Yeah, so the burn takes gets rid of my frost orb block, and then, yeah, I lost my buffer here, and please, can I kill here? Yes, I can. Phew, that was a close one. Used all of my potions, but was able to perfect. Phew, all right. Core search unload a thousand cuts. I am unsure which direction to take this deck in. That's a problem when you have multiple classes, right? It's a little difficult to decide which way to go, but um, unload is just straight up damage. It doesn't really scale or help me. I'm, I don't know. Curse Search doesn't really do anything either. A thousand cuts. I, I feel like I would need to play way more cards, and I only have one Blade Dance. So the thousand cuts won't be as amazing. Let's go with. Yeah, let's go with Core Search. I think that's the safest choice of those. And then let's see. Do I want to take Sneko Eye? I do only have one high cost card, the buffer. The rest is one cost. So overall, it won't help me that much. And I guess I have one zero cost card, the Go for the Ice. But. I like it more than the other relics, and there are a bunch of high cost cards. I'm thinking of the Meteor Strike that I could get with the defect. So let's take the Sneko Eye at the start of your turn, draw two additional cards, start each combat confused. Definitely a risky pick, but I think it's worth it. All right, for the champ, I really need to p figure out a better Frost Orb situation. All right, so this is a great example. So again, actually, yeah, I can hit all three possible elites with only one jump. So I think I'll do that. So let's go on this path with two question marks, go to this elite and then jump over once, and then I can get the other two. Unfortunately, the amount of question mark rooms that way is very limited, but I think I'll be fine. Okay, 12 incoming, let's do a free dagger throw. Get rid of, oh wow, this is actually a pretty good hand. Um, yeah, fine, let's get rid of this. Then do dual cast, free strike, uh, go for the ice, which is relatively cheap. And then let me see if the skim gives me a good defensive card, it did. And then I can do core search. Okay, not a bad start. This turn I am intangible, which is very convenient. Um, let's also do the buffer. I will need a little bit of block, so I am considering doing the cold snap. Um, yeah, because I don't want to lose my buffer. Or alternatively, I can just do dagger spray, defend, and strike. Okay. Another 10 incoming. Let's do dual cast again, then double strike. Oh, I didn't have an orb. Well, that was dumb. Okay, well, that was definitely a mistake. I don't think I can kill here, right? 
This will deal five. Uh, he's down to ten, and then another nine is not going to be enough. Uh, let me first see if I can draw something good. Yeah, unfortunately. I guess, never mind. I have a buffer, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. And he's dead next turn with the uh, with the poison anyway, right? Uh, let me just upgrade the, um, what do you call it? Yeah, get the ink bottle a little closer to nine. Both snap Bane or Poison Snap. I definitely don't want to go for collector bonuses. Uh, so let's... I don't really want Bane either, though. I'll take it reluctantly. Not very happy about it. Okay. All right. Got the Looter and Mugger here. Uh, buffer is great. Can I also defend? I don't think so. I don't want to do an expensive distraction. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take 10 damage here. Let's of course surge. Go for the ice. I could have done Dagger Throw, too. Okay. Oh, I should have go for the S the Backliner. That was silly. Because, yeah, the first attack was uh, absorbed by my buffer. Um, let's do dual cast, and then let's see if I can get something better with skim. All right, poison stab, and a regular strike. Okay. 16. A free defend is always nice. Strike, dagger, spray. And then I can't afford the cold snap, but I can do dagger throw, and that's it. And the orbital kill. Good. We got an attack potion, and yeah, if I had more poison catalyst would make sense, or if I had more orbs, barrage would make sense. Let's take the leap. Um, sure, I have a lot of gold. Let's spend some. So Seco Oil is basically free, free card draw. I also don't think I need the fairy in the bottle, so let's take the blessing of the forge as well. Okay. All right, snake plants. I am intangible. That's good. Let's do a free defend, and then I'll do strike and probably just dagger throw. Okay. All right, 21. Uh, yeah, the buffer is not going to help me that much. Weakening might be better. And then, uh, well, I guess I have to do the buffer. Do I want to do... No, let's not waste the potion here. I think I'm fine with uh, taking a little bit of damage. It's only 10 damage, right? Okay. 45. Let's do poison stab and then bane. Okay. I should have waited before clicking and turn because I might have gotten a zero cost card. I didn't, but I might have. Let's do dual cast and then poison snap kills. Good. Okay, reprogram Doom Gloom Auto Maneuver. I definitely go for Doom Gloom. Any high cost cards that deals a lot of damage, I think is very welcome here. Okay, uh, shop. I think I can for afford everything, right? So let's take the Doodle for each cursor index. Start each combat with one strength. I don't have any curses yet. I can be cure your first attack. Each combat deals eight additional damage and cauldron up and pick up. Okay, this one I won't take because I already have. Yeah, I think I already have enough potions. That's 150 gold for potentially nothing. Let's also take... I don't think I'll take Claw. Acrobatics is pretty good. And I think that's pretty much it. Not a big fan of any of the cards. Let me also take... You know what? I probably don't need this. Let's take a Block Potion. That might help perfect one or another Elite Fight. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here it's important I get rid of the minions. And thanks to Akibiko, I can with the Doom and Gloom. Perfect. All right, um, I'll also do the Free Skim. And a free strike. And uh, yeah, let's see what the distraction gives me. Turbo would allow me to play. Yeah, fine. Another strike is okay. All right. Okay, backlash not attacking. That's great. Uh, let's do cold stab. I do think. Well, yeah, buffer might be the difference between uh, perfecting and not perfecting, right? So let's play that. And then let's do dagger throw. Sorry about that again. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm ready. If I get lucky with the attack pattern, I should be fine. Oh, never mind. I got lucky with the incense murder. Okay. So let's do Doom and Gloom again. Um, and then I can kill this guy. Wait, hang on. I do actually still need some block, right? Oh, good thing I noticed. Yeah, because I am getting four incoming. I only have two from the Frost Robe, right? So let's do the leap. And then I'll do strike. Okay. Before I get rid of the Dark Robe, so I need to get rid of the minions. So the Dark Robe attacks the, uh, the backliner. All right, Dagger Spray for free is great. Let's do that. And then let's do Skim. Uh, I think I can do Turbo, Poison, Stab, and Bane. Oh, and then a free Dagger Throw. Okay. I don't need much to kill the Backliner anymore. Uh, and he is summoning, and I can just kill with the Cold Snap, 30 damage. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one, I got Thread Needle, so I just come with four-plated armor as well as a Flex Potion I don't think I'll need, and Upgraded Predator is perfect. Let's also, yeah, jump over for the next Elite. Okay. Okay, this one might be tough. I do have the Sneko Oil Potion, which I am considering to playing. Um, I don't have any AoE, right? So let's start with the Poison Stab, Blade Dance. I might have considered drinking the Attack Potion because that might have given me some AoE. 
All right, so this draws me five cards and scrambles the rest of my costs, right? Okay, so let's do core search. That's enough to kill the backliner. Now I have to only defend against 19. Actually, only 15 thanks to the plated armor. So leap and a block push will be enough. Uh, let me first play the free strikes. Actually, hang on. This is better than the leap, right? If I do defend and defend again, that's 13. Yeah, and then the block potion is enough. Okay, pretty good start here. Hmm. Okay, so 14. I got a free predator. That's good. Um, and doom and gloom is almost enough, but then I would still have trouble defending, right? Uh, and on the cold stab is not enough. Let me see if the attack potion gives you anything good. Meteor strike. Sunder would give me energy back, right? And then I could hopefully draw something good with the acrobatics. I think that's the right way to go. Let's do Sunder. Then uh, acrobatics. Okay. Uh, let me get rid of this. So then I can do Cold Snap Defend. Wait, no, that's still not. Oh, yeah, no, Cold Snap Defend is enough. Well, actually, just the Defend is enough as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's do Doom and Gloom and then Defend, and I'll do a Free Zap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven. Uh, let's do Predator 26. Let me do the Free Strike. Trying to figure out if there's a way I can kill. Um, let's do Acrobatics. Uh, all right, and then dagger spray for free, poison. Uh, yeah, I should be fine. Okay, all right, perfect. This one too. We got a meal ticket. We're gonna be enter a shop. Heal 15 HP, a liquid bronze potion, and an upgraded white noise. Yeah, it can be good, even though it's zero cost, but fine. All right. Okay, so here let's do a free acrobatic. See what I get. Get rid of this for sure. I want to do doom gloom. It's a lot of damage, and I'm intangible here, right? Sure, why not? Get a dark orb out too. This gives me an aggregate. Okay, that gives me three energy back. That's nice. Let me see if the skim gives me anything good. You know what? Let's do buffer. That way I don't have to worry about incoming damage. Okay. All right, 27. Look at that. Um, good thing I have that buffer, right? Let's do predator. I think I'll just do blade dance, right? Yeah, let's do blade dance. Okay. All right, using my buffer here. Then 12 incoming, um, so yeah, I can do aggregate for free especially, then doom and gloom, poison stab, no wait, that's a little too expensive. Uh, can I come up with some block? I guess I can do cold snap and defend. Yeah, fine. Protects me a little bit at least. If I got a dual cast though, I should be done though. Um, hang on, I didn't get, there is a dual cast, good. Okay, got a Swift Potion, Blade Dance, Claw, Skim. I already have these two, and I really don't want to take the Claw, especially in the Snake Eye deck, so I have to reject these. Yeah, I got Data Disc. That just come with one Focus. Very handy. And then Book of Stabbing. So here I probably want to drink the Liquid Runs. Let me first see if I have any chance of perfecting. Okay, it does not look promising so far. I am. I mean, I could drink the Swift Potion. I'm trying to think what it would have, to, uh, what it would have to give me, and it would have to give me a lot of good defensive cards for cheap or free, and I didn't get them. So yeah, I don't think there's any way. So in that case, I'm not even going to use the Liquid Bronze. So let's instead do um, Dagger Spray. Yep, with that could be code some more damage, and then I can do Blade Dance and Dual Cast. Okay. All right. Yeah, if it was 12 incoming, the defensive push, uh, uh, cards, not potions, would have been enough, but I'm a little unlucky with that draw. Or if I had that buffer earlier too, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here I'm intangible. Let's do dagger throw, doom and gloom, acrobatics. Okay. And then I don't think I need dual cast. Let's do skim. And then I guess I can do poison stab. Okay. 21 again. Let's weaken. Actually, I can just do buffer, right? Yeah, let's do buffer that way. I don't, that way I don't have to deal about or worry about any incoming. Okay, 24. Yeah, this is taking me a little bit longer. Um, I can do... Hang on. If I take 24 damage, I'll actually lose a lot of HP. So, uh, well, 24 HP to be exact. Um, I actually... Yeah, I could have killed if I had done cold snap and then the zap. The orb would have killed. You know what? Let me drink the uh, Liquid Bronze uh, because I don't want to take so much damage. This way, at least, he'll die. Yep, there we go. All right, we got Mango. Open pickup race to make sure we buy 14 and an escape plan. That's pretty good. Yep. No more question marks left after this, right? So that might be a little tough. All right. Um, let's do Dagger Throw. 
and then poison stab and let's just do predator extra card draw is very important when you have these snake eye okay turn incoming strike for free skim um i don't think i'll do go for the ice well it's not going to have an effect can i defend in any way yeah i mean i could play this defend and then a uh, one energy strike card yeah would have been better but i think this is fine 20 uh upgrade or uh, play the buffer let's do leap for free white noise for free hello world is fine i guess not super happy about that uh yeah actually if i do buffer i won't take any damage and unfortunately what i'll keep the malaise because it'll be much better to play the malaise when um i actually have energy all right so let's do acrobatics which would allow me to play the sneaky strike for free okay and then cold snap and skim is free as well Free Predator is always nice. Dagger throw. And then Doom and Gloom. That's enough to kill. Good. Okay, flying the hologram recycle. Let's take the hologram, actually. That might be useful. Oh, actually, do I want to get the uh, Incense Burner a certain value for the champ fight? Probably not. I do, during the champ fight, I want to transform him so that the Incense Burner absorbs most of my initial... Uh, uh, well, most of the attack after the transformation. Okay. I might be a little difficult, but I really have to try to do that. Because otherwise, I don't think if he does like 40 or 60 incoming, there's nothing I know to know what to do, at least. Let's do Bane to kill this guy. A free strike. And then let me try to defend. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out a way to avoid 12 damage. And I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I don't know what to hologram. I guess I could hologram zero cost. Let me see if I can draw a zero cost defensive card. Okay, perfect. And then I can hologram that. I don't even need to hologram that. Right? Actually, I am fully defended that way. So let's hologram another zero cost attack card like the Bane. All right. And then do Bane and a regular strike. Okay, that actually went really well. Mm -hmm. All right, 18. This gives me bullet time. Let me, before I play the bullet time, actually draw some more cards. Um, oh, acrobatics is perfect for that purpose. Um, all right, let's get rid of this and then bullet time. Play everything. So dagger throw at the very end. Let's do dual cast. Strike, cold snap. Yeah, I was overthinking this. This was over pretty quickly. Got a gambler's brew. Overclocks. Oh, no, let's go with the echo form. It is high cost and it is generally useful. Snake plant again. 21 incoming. Okay, I, I would really like the snake eye to hit the echo form, but fine. Cool headed is fine. Uh, let's do Doom and Gloom. Is there anything I can do to block? Actually, I can just try to defend this turn. Right? Let me see what the acrobatics gives me. Okay, I kind of want to play the defend. Or the buffer, and it looks like they both sort of do the same thing. Yeah, let's do the defend, and then I might be able to use the buffer later. And I didn't do an attack, because I want to sort of use my Akabika on something better. Uh, like Predator? Sure. Okay, let's do Predator, dual cast, and then Bane. Okay. Now I'm intangible. Let's do core surge, blade dance, and then I can do shiv, shiv, and shiv, and then a poison stab, and a regular strike. Okay, he should be dead next turn from the uh, poison, right? All right. So let me do. Okay, play a few cards to get the ink bottle upgraded. Let's do skim, white noise, electrodynamics, and then defend. And I think that's it. Good. Okay, so Compile Driver, Cloak and Nagger, Turbo. I'll, I'm fine with the Cloak and Nagger. Compile Driver, yeah, might be tough. Let's go the, with the Cloak and Nagger. Okay. All right, so here, I could do Doom and Gloom, right? Just a bunch of damage. This is 24, this is 22. Yeah, let's do the 22, sure. Okay. Hmm. All right, uh, let's see what the Acrobatic gives me. Okay, I well let's do a free leap. Dual cast is probably fine. I can do predator for a lot of damage, okay. Another 14 defend. Well, hang on, let's do another defend. Cold snap. I think I'll hologram the cold snap. Um yes. Okay. And then white noise gives me footwork, which uh let's see what the skim. Well, I'm mostly hoping for zero cost attacks, okay. I'm a little worried about the champ. I guess maybe my strategy with the champ should be to get a really good Dark Orb going. 
that might be the only way to make sure. Actually, hang on. Post side will kill the frontliner, right? So let's post side the backliner. Okay. Okay. All right, TM intangible. Let's do doom and gloom. I guess I can kill here because intangibility, as I mentioned, doesn't really matter too much against champ in the first phase. But after the transformation, I do want to make sure I got the uh, incense burner red value. Okay. Essence of darkness. Interesting. Yeah, that's really good. I might use that against the uh, dark uh, the champ. Um, upgraded hello world. An innate or a, a random common card in my hand. Uh, I am afraid that that might that might make my hand too much like Jun's. Let's take the beam cell instead, even though it is a zero cost card. All right, at least I, I'm a, a decent health here. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's do Dagger Spray. I also think I should do the Essence of Darkness, make sure the orbs start accumulating early. Let's do Core Surge and then a Doom and Gloom. Sure. Okay. All right, I just need to make sure I draw good defensive cards. Also, free Echo Form is amazing. White Noise gives me a thousand cuts. Okay. Hologram. So I only have seven. What can I hologram? I can hologram just a defensive card, right? Just to defend, I mean. Let's do that. Okay. And then I am fully defended. Let's wait. Wasting two energy, but what can you do? Okay, so I am still vulnerable. Um, what do I want to double play? Let me double play the distraction just because I'm hoping to get a defensive card. And force field is a defensive card and cloak and dagger is a defensive card so i can't complain i do still need a little bit more so i think it has to be the well let me see what the escape plan gives me okay perfect so that way i'm fully defended so uh let's do the free predator do i want to do dual cast it's 40 damage um i mean it's not gonna hurt sure okay and then go for the ice and shiv all right okay so i need to transform now and obviously, because I can't... Actually, no, not now. It, it has to be... The transformation has to happen in this turn, but he's clearly not transforming, right? So now I have to get the instance murder to four, so I have to be a little careful not to transform before that. Let's do the buffer, though, twice. That's a good idea. And then um, I don't think I'll do anything else. I might... Well, no, let's not get a zap plate because I do want to get a... Um, trying to think. Well, I should deal some damage, right? Fine. Let's do... Let's do beam cell and strike, sure. Okay. 210, that's why I have to start worrying. And I still have to buffer, so that, that might help me. Alright, I'm intangible here. Um, so I do still... Actually, I have enough block, right? So should I double play the dagger throw? Why not? Okay. Alright, and I think I'll wait. Actually, let's get another dark orb out. Okay. So wait, if on 4 I get him below 210... Then on five he'll transform and on six he'll attack. Okay, so that's the goal. Four below. Wait, so I can't do predator twice. That will deal too much damage. Let's. I can't do cold snap either. Uh oh. Um. Can I? Well, let's do acrobatics. I guess hoping to draw a defensive card. Um. Let's remove the expensive card here. And okay. Well, I drew some defensive card, but I think I have to use the buffer here. All right. Okay. It was one of my buffers. 24. Um, double play the force field. It's only 18. Oh, right, because I'm frail. Oh, I think that's that's the only thing I can do. But then if I do that, then another 3 is 22. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's do that. Okay, then defend. All right, so then I'm fully defended. And then, okay. So 4, right? And then 5, it transforms. Okay, good. Right, I calculate this right. If on four I get him to below half, yeah, five it transforms. Okay, so let's get him close, uh, but nothing with double damage. Let's double play the cloak and dagger. Okay, so I can do one shiv, two shiv. Okay, and then I think ten damage seems very doable next turn. Let me do maybe an escape plan. Nine damage is very doable next turn. I hope. Okay, another twenty-four. I still have the buffer. Um, I'm sort of hoping. Yeah, I can get rid of the dark orbs, right? Let's do that. Let's double play the zap. Okay, it's actually pretty good. And then uh, let's do Dagger Spray, Poison Stab. Can I... Well, I mean, I could try to fully defend, but I think that would have not have been really useful. Okay. All right, losing my second buffer. Okay, so here's transform the transformation. Let's double up on the Predator, actually. I could have doubled up on the Bane, but I think this is better. And then I just need a Dual Cast or any way to get rid of the Orb, and that should be enough. 
Okay. I was probably a little too careful with the planning here, but again, better safe than sorry. Okay, awesome. All right, perfected everything on this act, I believe, right? Electrodynamics, Alpha 1, or Creative AI. I think Creative AI would be amazing. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. Um, Electrodynamics is okay. Alpha 1 might be good with Sneko Eye, right? Because I might get a lot of random zero-cost cards. Uh, yeah, this is a tough one. I think I'll go for Alpha 1 just because I feel like my deck lacks damage. So here I desperately need energy. I don't know. Oh, Black Star would give me 25 points. Coffee Dripper is fine. Get energy to start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. But I think I'll risk it. Let's go with the Black Star. Lead Job Additional Relic when defeated. Mostly I'm hoping to, uh, with the Black Star, be able to get to 25 relics. All right. I have one more Wing Boots charge left. Let's see if I can use that. One, two. Okay. So I could have used two Wing Boots. Oh, actually, never mind. Yeah. This is exactly what I'm talking about. With only one Wing Boots charge, I can hit all three elites. All possible three elites. Yeah, because these guys are on the same floor. So I go here, jump over once, and then hit. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually kind of glad I used one jump for each act. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any curses, but I do have five question marks on this path if I start this way. I could also replace one question mark with a shop, which actually I think I'm going to do just because I have so much gold and I would like to buy some relics. So I said three elites, right? That means I'll get another six relics here. How many do I have now? Five, 10, 14. So I'll bring these up to 20. So I need to buy all three relics in the shop and then get a random relic from uh, at least one random relic from an event. All right. So this is why all for one can be good. I can do strike and then use all for one to get that strike back. Uh, let's also see what the white noise gives me. Um, yeah, bias condition is not bad. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, 17. Uh, not the best hand here. Oh, actually a very bad hand. Let's do echo form and uh, I guess I'll do beam cell. Okay, very unlucky draw there. All right. Okay, um, here let's do... I don't have any poison on anybody. Um, should I hologram? How much was the all for one? It was zero cost. Okay, so let's do core surge. Oh, forgot that I'm playing it twice. Okay, fine. And then uh, let's play the Bane. Okay, then all for one. And then uh, let's do Beam Cell, Strike, and Bane. And then I guess I can do Blade then just to kill the backliner here. Okay. Hmm, can I deal enough damage? I do have Echo Form active, I have to remember that. So let's double up on the Predator here. Good. All right, dodge and roll, Bane, or Finisher. I already have this between Finisher and dodge and roll. Not a big fan of Finisher. Let's take the dodge and roll, though. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that either, especially without a footwork. All right, so I don't think... Well, let's focus on the cards, or the relics first. We've got Potion Belt. I'm going to pick up, gain two Potion Slots. Frozen Egg, one of you add a power card and two deck upgraded. And Grunic Capacitor, so I just come with three additional orb Slots. That's great. Can't take the Cold Sub. Let's take a Cool Headed. Probably don't need the Deadly Poison. So I found a boss here. Um, time Eater. Eh, poison deck might be worth it. Uh, I mean, I feel like I should pick up a bunch of cards, right? Let's do Noxious Fumes, Deadly Poison. Can't take the Cold Sun. Let's take Rebound. And then let's also take the Energy Potion and another Gambler Sprue. Why not? I, I have the gold to, to be able to afford it, right? Okay. Warp Walker. Let's start with a Dagger Spray. Then probably... Well... Yeah, I guess I can do Defend. Yeah, let's preserve some HP. Why not? All right, skim gives me nothing else to play. Good. Next turn, I have the intangibility, so that should help. Uh, okay, wow, that was and a little unlucky with the draws here. Okay. 16, let's do a free buffer, beam cell, deadly poison, blade dance. Okay. And then defend hologram. Oh, probably worth to do the echo form here. And then what do I want to get back? Uh, do I have a zero cost defensive card? Uh, yes, mostly because I want to keep my buffer for another turn. And then all for one does it. Good. We got a block potion. Very nice. Ooh, a little too late for generic algorithm. And I already have the other two. I take it just for fun. It's going to be hard to use, but if I have echo form active, I can double play it. I'll take it mostly because I do want to get to uh, 40 or 50 cards. And speaking of 50 cards here, I have to lose one. Ah, I guess I'll lose, lose the zap. Okay. All right, transient buffer is great here. Let's do core surge. And then I'll do rebound and play buffer. 
Okay. Hmm. Already incoming. All right, let's do... Let's see what the white nose gives me first. After him, which is nice. Let's do Predator. Yeah, that genetic algorithm is way too expensive to play. Which is unfortunate because I sort of needed to play it every turn if I wanted to get it upgraded. Okay. 50. All for one is great here. Let's do dodge and roll. Play all the zero cost card. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me actually all for one first. Let me do Noxious Themes 2. All for one. Then play all the zero cost cards. Okay. And then I'll do hologram the all for one. Uh, where is it here? Oh, actually. Well, hang on. Yeah, I was going to do the Predator, right? That's an important card. I'm not sure why I'm playing so many cards. Oh, uh, wait. I wasn't counting my cards. Any chance that I played more than 20? Uh, should have counted. Wait, I think it is, right? Because didn't Aftermage give me a bunch of block? No, well, let's let's assume this is more than uh, 20 cards. So, but hopefully it's the combo modifier. So here I'm intangible. I think I'll just play the Echo Form and move on. Okay. And then next turn I have the uh, buffer, right? Yeah, let's just move on. I don't need to drag this out longer than it has to be. Okay. All right. Good fight. We got a speed potion and leg sweep is pretty good. I definitely don't need sneaky strike. Leg sweep is amazing. And then, yeah, first elite and then jumping over for the second one. But the nemesis is not attacking me in the first turn. And I got the echo form. I think echo form might be worth it here. Just because it might allow me to actually defend in turns where it matters. Let's try. Okay. All right, yeah, 45. This is what I was worried about. And, okay, I wasn't worried about not drawing any defensive cards. Let me use the Gambler Spree here. I do have a good set of potions. And then I might have had to keep the Acrobatics. A double up on the buffer. That's perfect. That's exactly what I needed here. All right, and then Distraction gives me an Aggregate. I can do Defend, Poison Stab, go for the S. That was a little wasted potential because I sort of wasted the Ekabiko, but I think that's okay. All right, here, let's do Deadly Poison. Dagger, spray, and uh, I guess I can, might as well, do, well, let's do strike, a little bit extra damage. Alright, so another 45, good thing I have that buffer. Uh, anything I want to hologram? I'm thinking, did I have a predator? It's only one energy, yeah, let's do that, let's hologram the predator. And then, yeah, I forgot it's double played, so I can hologram one more thing, so let's hologram the alpha one, alright. Let's do Predator all for one. Okay, Dagger Throw will allow me to reshuffle. All right, and then Bane, Defend, Acrobatics. Okay, and then Defend again, all right? Okay, I got really lucky with that double playing the buffer. All right, so let's do Zero Cost Strike. Uh, I should have done the all for one instead. Dagger Throw, get rid of one of the burns. Bane again, Defend, and then might as well do Blade Dance, okay? All right. Now I don't have any buffers anymore, so... Oh, come on. Three big attacks in a single turn. Er, in a row. Uh, all right, hang on. Let's see. So, if... I, I think I might have to do the Gambus Brew. What will I draw, though? Dodge and roll, escape plan. That's not going to help. So, if I do the block potion plus the speed potion, that's 14... I mean, I have to try it, right? Especially since I can play the leap twice. So, let's do the speed potion, double play the leap. Okay, so I have 32. I still need a little bit more. This will bring it down to 33, but then I have to deal with the burns. Uh, I guess I can get rid of them with the Gambler's Brew. Right? 32. No, wait, that's still not enough, right? 33 is, is more than 32. So let's get rid of everything. I still will draw one burn, right? Yeah, so dodge and roll is probably the best thing here. Dodge and roll and go for the ice. Yes, yes. Okay. And a free cold snap. All right. Yeah, had to use a few potions, but so far I'm perfecting. Also getting really unlucky with getting three big attacks in a single turn. That's definitely not usual. Uh, I probably, well, actually double playing the aggregate. Is that necessary? I don't think it's necessary. Let's still do it. Okay. And then let's not rebound the alpha. Well, actually rebound the alpha one seems like a good idea. Actually, I feel like I overthought this. I can kill here. That single, when adding cards into deck, you may race to make sure you buy two instead. And Grumminhorn, when an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card. As well as, I can't take another Lex, but let's take the Rainbow. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, how much max HP do I need? Um, I started with 80, right? So if I reject one more card, at least, that'll give me 25 points. So that might be worth doing. Let's jump on the left. Okay. Alright, so not the best start here. I'm really regretting taking the Drank Algorithm. 
Let's do defend, generic algorithm. I think I'll just do a strike at the end. Seems a little lame. Yeah, let's do strike and then poison stab. Yeah, I definitely need to play the echo form here. Not getting attacked. Yeah, unfortunately, echo form is expensive, but I think I have to play it, basically. Let's do core search and go for the ice. All right. Hmm. So here I have 13 incoming. Um, I guess I can do dodge and roll. Yeah, that'll be enough. We'll spend waste art on all of my energy, but it is enough. Okay. Yeah, I am dealing damage very slowly. And of course, I'm not getting attacked in the turn. I am um, intangible. Let's double play the noxious fumes, actually. Yeah, six poison at the start of every turn. Seems like a big deal. And then cold snap. Yeah, this one will be rough. Okay. 30. Oh, double playing the buffer for sure, right? That buys me two extra turns. And then I can do something like predator. All right. Okay. At 35. All for one, unfortunately, ended up at the end of my deck. Uh, let's play a bunch of zero cost cards, though. Um, let's do dual can. No, what do I want to do? Let's actually do the white noise twice, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so perfect. I can do capacitor, infinite blades, then strike, dual cast, bane, all for one. And then strike. I don't think I'll dual cast again. Let's just do another bane. Okay, lose the buffer. All right. Okay, 40, and I don't have any buffers anymore, so this one might be rough. Let's see. So I can defend 18. I, I, I think I have to, right? Rainbow is not going to be enough either. Let's do double up on the leap. Then escape plan. I mean, I, I guess cold, cold snap. Rainbow. Yeah, I am going to take damage here. There's no way around it, even if I drink the block potion, right? Because I'm 25, 28. Actually, no, block potion would save me another turn. Oh, I'm not sure. Should I waste it? Well, I guess use it, not wasted. Um, yeah, I guess let's do it. Yeah, exactly 40. Oh, 43 block, right? Because of another frost orb. And then if I survive this, uh, no, I still need two more turns for the intense burn to be active. Um, let's see. So if I double up on the hologram, what could I get back? Nothing that immediately allows me to fully defend, right? I guess I could get back an awful one. Or let's try to see if the distraction gives me anything good. Okay, well, it didn't directly give me something good, but the Lex is pretty good. Let's do that. And then hologram the all for one. Uh, let me do the blade dance first. Okay. Then all for one. All right. And then I can do dual cast. Okay. Actually, I'm fully defended this way. I am a little surprised there. Um, let's also, anything I want to rebound? No, let's play the rebound at the end then. All right. Okay. One more turn, and he's also going to be weakened next turn. Um, there's also a significant chance I might be able to kill here. Uh, 26, so he has 53. 53 damage might be difficult. If I do... No, no, I don't think I can come up with 53 damage. I do have an energy potion. What's the most damage I'm doing here? Nine. This is more, right? The poison stab, even more than deadly poison. So I think let's try to kill, or if I do defend, dodge and roll, it's not enough, right? That's 12 plus another 9 is 21. I need way more than that. All right, let's try double up on the poison stab. Okay. Then, uh, oh, should I have played? I should have played dodge and roll first, actually. Let's do shiv. And then, um, yeah, I don't think there's much I can do here, right? Ooh, a free predator. Is that enough? That is enough. All right. Wow. This is a tough fight, but I was, I was able to perfect mostly because I used a lot of potions. We got meat on the boat. If the HP is arrow below 50% 50, 50 at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. So a strawberry, which brings me up to 101, which means I need nine more max HP to get um, extra points. And then let's take the crippling cloud. Okay. Resting back to full HP. Yeah, this, this run is taking me quite a long time, but I am perfecting everything so far. We've got Oricalcum. If you end your turn without blocking six block. Okay. All right, and there's crush number one. I mean, I'll take it. It'll give me extra uh, strength too, right? As well as a bunch of gold, sure. Okay. And then yeah, I still have a lot of gold, and I'm worried I might not get to 25 relics, right? Wait, like 20, 21, 22. Yeah, so far I'm slayed for 24, so hopefully there's one more shop up, or crush mark upcoming. Hopefully that'll be a shop. Let's do acrobatics, get rid of the regret. And then let's do deadly poison. Go for the ice. I'm intangible anyway, right? And then... Um, I guess dagger throw, see what I can get. And then Lex with the backliner, okay. And might as well do a strike. 
This guy should be dead from the poison next turn. Although, I guess I have the Grumman Horn, right? So maybe it makes sense to actually kill this guy manually. Well, I guess I can do that with the Doom and Gloom. Uh, let me actually rebound that. Okay. Alright, and then draw that again. Perfect. And then let's do Crippling Cloud and uh, Doom and Gloom again. Or should I do Buffer to avoid taking any damage? Uh, all for one is going to give me back a few good cards. Yeah, let's do all for one then. Okay, and then go for the ice. Let's rebound the leg sweep and then defend deadly poison. And I guess I can do cold snap to draw the leg sweep, but unfortunately it's not cheap anymore. Okay. All right, 14. Let's do predator. And then I just need a little bit. Yeah, this is enough. Good. Okay, Bullseye Bane or Overclock. Uh, not a big fan of these two. Maybe Overclock. You know what? No, let me reject this card. Wait, how do I get max HP? I'm a little confused. So I had plus 14 here. Oh, I also had a potion, right? I feel like I had a potion. Yeah, because I, I don't start at 80. I started at 75. So I only need to get to 105. Okay, well, I could have picked up a card there. Um, all right, let's do the next Elite. Nemesis again. Let's hope the attack pattern will be slightly better this time. Sorry about that. My... Uh, real life boss called at a very odd time so anyway everything is fine though all right so uh i have completely lost track here so 18 incoming okay so i definitely should do a free rainbow uh acrobatics is too expensive i do have the energy potion here so 9 13 plus 3 16 i need i need a tiny bit extra block i might actually dodge and roll is enough right yeah let's just do dodge and roll yeah let's play it safe okay Right, 45. Yeah, I was really hoping for that buffer. Okay, can't double play it, but I think this is good enough. Let's see, White Noise gives me a bias cognition, which is a good idea, I think. Let's do that as well, and then I can do Predator. Uh, or should I use... You know what, let me not play the Predator, just so I can keep the... Uh, I was hoping to keep the Akabika for when the enemy is not intangible, but fine. Let's do Predator and then Doom and Gloom. And then I can do Dagger Throw as well. Okay. All right, there goes my buffer. And then another 18. Uh, should I do generic algorithm? I already, yeah, I think I'm fully defended if I uh, do that. Yep, noxious fumes, beam cell, str uh, strike, and then skim. Okay. A little worried because I might lose too much, um, too much uh, focus here. Let's do echo form, cloak and dagger, shiv, dagger spray, and then anything I need to rebound? Let's rebound, oh. I was going to rebound the go for the ice, but that didn't work. Okay. Still have 99 damage to go through. Okay, 45 incoming again. That's unfortunate. Um, so even if I double play the Fend, that might still put me in a bad spot. I mean, let's try it. So 16, 24, 28. Uh, let me see. Mm, I could do go for the ice. I'll bring it down to 33, but then, um, sadly, the leap is a little too expensive. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do, right? So, 24, 28. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing I could have done here. Alright, fine. Okay, I really got... Uh, well, I was able to perfect the first Nemesis fight, which, uh, you know, gave me a lot of the uh, big attacks. But, yeah, this is okay. Um, all right, fine. Huh? I feel like I should be able to kill. 33 seems very doable if I can double up the Predator. All right. Okay, we got Symbiotic Virus at the Savage Combat, channel 1 Dark, as well as an Unseizing Top. Uh, whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. That probably won't happen. And then I already have these two. And do I need Phantasmal Killer? Probably not. I think I'll go with the Max HP, even though I also don't really need Max HP. Okay, resting back to full HP here. And yeah, if this was a shop, I would have easily been able to get another 25 points. So I got a little unlucky there. I think I rejected a, sh uh, a relic on the first act shop, right? So that, that might have been a mistake in retrospect. I think it was a cauldron too, right? Yeah. All right, so let's do dagger spray with Akibiko, which is great. And then do I want to do buffer or let's do the free cold snap. And then anything I want to hologram. I could hologram another dagger spray. Sure. I'll take a little bit of damage that way, but I think it should be fine. Okay. And then, yeah, that's... Uh, well, might as well do a regular strike. Okay. Hmm. 
Right, a doom and gloom would be perfect here. I did not get that. Instead, let's do crippling cloud predator. Actually, these minions are dead. So let me do. Oh, right, I can't do drink other than that. Okay, fine. And uh, do I want to play a few more cards? Yeah, let's do that. Leap, strike, noxious fumes. Oh, uh, right, I can do drink algorithm here too. Perfect. Okay. All right, so weakness potion, flying knee, dagger throw, skim. I already have these two. I don't think I have a flying knee, right? Yeah, let's take that. All right. And then here I'm resting again. Yeah, I'm a little bumped. I wasn't able to get to 25 relics. That's 50 points, right? I'm missing 50 points because of that. All right. Okay, so uh, I am intangible here. Let's do strike. Okay. Um, I do need block. I have the Orichalcum though, right? So I don't need the block necessarily. Let me see if I... Yeah, skim is dangerous. Let's do flying knee instead. Okay. Mostly because I would like to play the echo form and the buffer, so I don't want to waste them if I draw them with no energy to play it. Okay, 21 incoming. This is a little harder. Let's do the free acrobatics. I also have a weakness potion, right? So that should help. The all for one is very expensive, although let me get rid of this. Okay. So then let's do uh, leap, cold snap. Okay, so all for one would give me a leap back, right? As well as another acro acrobatic. So even though it's expensive, it might be worth it. All right, hang on. I am actually the weakness potion might work too. Or the defend would work too, right? 1821. Yeah, the defend is enough. Right? So I have 1821 exactly. Okay, uh, let's do a doom and gloom as well, sure. All right. All right, another 21, and I can only play five cards. So Lex Sweep will bring it down to 15. That might be the best thing to do here. Oh, actually, what I think I can do is Lex Sweep, Rainbow, Dual Cast, Strike. No, but that, that would put me at an awkward spot. I will only be able to play three cards next turn. So let's just do Rainbow. I'll get the Dark Rope front. Okay. And now I can still play three cards next turn. All right. And he's not attacking. That's great. And I got a free Echo Form. That's really good. All right. Let's do Predator for extra card draw. And uh, let's do Core Surge. Sure. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Okay. 27. I probably want to double play the buffer. Let's do that. Okay. And then do I want to do Deadly Poison? Um, I... I it wouldn't hurt, I think. Let me see what the white noise gives me. It's a little expensive. No, hang on. Genetic algorithm is 13. Yeah, that way I can actually keep one buffer. Or I can do dodge and roll. Hang on. So if I do genetic algorithm, I get 13 plus 10, so 23. So I'll lose one buffer. If I do dodge and roll, I get 6 plus 10, 16. I'll lose two buffers. Okay. Um, if I do dodge and roll, can I do a one energy? No, I don't have anything one energy. All right, let's do genetic algorithm then. Wait, did I already double play the first card? I I did, right? Did I play a... Yeah, wait. I am confused. I did, yeah. I played the buffer. Okay, good. So let's do genetic algorithm. Alright, and then deadly poison. Okay. Alright, so I still keep one buffer. Although, if I draw the regret... Actually, is that... No, it's not in my next hand. Alright. So another 27. Uh, I think double playing the leg sweep is great here. Okay, that way I don't have to worry about defense. And then I can deal some damage with the doom and gloom. Alright. And then a regular strike. Okay, next turn I can play four cards. Mm -hmm. Right, intangible here. That's great. Do I want to double play the deadly poison? Yeah, so I can do deadly poison twice. Okay. And then dodge and roll and escape plan. And okay, good. I was really hoping not to get a curse there. Alright, 33. There's the buffer. Oh, good thing I didn't get the um, the curse. So let's do... Can I try to defend here? 33 is... Yeah, doable, but I think... No, let, let's just do double play the Predator. But this doesn't mean I'll draw the curse next turn, or very likely I'll draw it next turn. Um, let me do Dagger... You want? Let's also do Noxious Fumes here. And then I can do Dagger Throw... Yep, perfect. Got rid of the, the regret, and then might as well do cloak and dagger and shiv. Okay, so far so good. All right, there goes my buffer. Now he's transforming, right? Okay. Um, do I want to play six cards before transformation? I don't think so, actually. Wait, what am I going to draw next turn? Uh, next turn might be rough. 
Let me do... Let's keep the Crippling Claw. Yeah, I don't think... I would like to double play the White... Actually, I think I should double play the White Nose, right? Let's do that. All right, I got a footwork out of it. Okay. Uh, I will not play the Stag Discharger because next turn I can only play four cards and that might be... Two of them will be... Well, three cards. One of them is duplicated by Echo Form. All right, 33 incoming. Uh, this is tough. So let me throw the Weakness Potion now. That's still 24. So if I do Dual Cast, it will do a lot of damage with the Dark Orb, right? Let's do Dual Cast. Okay. Um... Let me see what the... Well, how can I get... Because he'll, he'll gain two more strength, right? So I'll, I think I'll be nine. Hang on. This was... Uh, how much was it? 13 times three. So it'll be 15 times three with a weakness that goes down to... Yeah, I think it's 10 times three. I might have miscalculated, but let's assume it's 10 times three. Which means um, I need a lot more block than I can come up with. Uh, let's... I guess I have to do acrobatics. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done here. All right. Got a little unlucky. Uh, it was nine times three. Yeah. If I had one buffer, that would have been fine, but keeping that buffer would have been also difficult. All right. Okay, that's okay. Let's do double up. Since I'm not perfecting anymore, I can just, you know, should be able to kill here. I do wonder, maybe the right strategy was to grow a Dark Orb, because, you know, I have a good set of Dark Orbs, and then before the transformation, just pummel all the Dark Orbs on the enemy. That might have been a better idea, but... Oh, well. Okay. All right, didn't perfect this one, but other than that, it went pretty well. I did take my sweet time with this run, and I missed 50 points by not having one extra relic. So 1248 is definitely not the upper ceiling. Perfected two out of the three elites, and then six out of nine uh, other way around. Two out of three bosses, six out of nine elites, which is not bad. Got raining money. I don't think I had events that gave me money, right? So that just was from the Midas modifier. Did get Highlander, no curses. I only had one curse in the end, and did get Librarian. Uh, did get... 30 plus extra max HP. So yeah, uh, I definitely can see... Oh, I never got combo? I could have sworn there was the giant head fight and uh, I forget what other fight there was before that where I thought I played a lot of cards, but okay, clearly I didn't. So that could have been an easy 25 points. Um, getting another relic, well, buying the other relic in the shop would have been another 25 or 50 points. And then playing faster would have... So I think, what would 100... Oh, and of course, perfecting the last boss would be another 100. So 200, so... 1460 something is definitely doable oh but nobody got it yet i honestly i'm a little surprised because yeah as i said perfecting the last boss is would definitely be doable if i got a little luckier and then uh getting combo speedster and i i like shiny modifier were all within reach so 200 um what is that 25 points extra so 1600 uh, sorry, 1,400, um, like 60-something. Should have been very doable. I'm a little surprised that nobody got it. So maybe I got really lucky uh, in my score. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. So yeah, let me know in the comments if, if uh, you went for a different approach or um, or if I just really got really lucky. That, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Seventh place is pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, before I go, I did want to mention that I will be on vacation uh, for a few days. I'll be back, I think, Monday, July the 12th. Um, I will, no, Monday is July 11th, right? Um, I will try to upload while I'm on vacation. I just don't know how my internet will be. So I have a few other runs that I'll upload if I can't do any dailies, but just a heads up, I'll be back with regular dailies. Um, hopefully, well, regular, highly produced videos, uh, on Monday the 12th. It is the 12th, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.